What's going on all of you fantastic freelancers? My name is William and today we are going to be discussing something that was recently brought to our attention here at Your Anthem by our good friend Yukomio, who shared this with us on our Discord. A link to his channel and the reports referenced in this video can be found in the description below and pinned as a comment. Today we're going to be discussing some reports on Anthem and things are looking pretty good to say the least. So as many of you know, I studied business in my collegiate career and discussions like these are my bread and butter. Yesterday, October 30th, EA released its fiscal 2019 quarter two prepared comments detailing the performance of their various games, including their EA Sports franchises, Sims 4, their upcoming Battlefield release, their mobile games, and of course, Anthem. The first quote comes from Mr. Andrew Wilson, Electronics Arts CEO and Director, who states that, Looking ahead, our focus continues to be on connecting more players to more great experiences. On February 22nd, Bioware will launch their stunning and ambitious shared world game Anthem. The team has done an outstanding job executing their vision for a game with amazing levels of complexity, scale, and innovation. Anthem has won more than 90 awards, including recognition as one of the most anticipated games of the year, and player feedback continues to be highly positive through our pre-launch testing. We can't wait to see this game come alive for fans at launch and through the long-term live service to come. The quote continues, We're looking forward to our opportunities ahead, building long-term engagement and lifetime value for players in ever-evolving live services like FIFA 19, Battlefield 5, Anthem, and more. But that's more of your average quarterly report fluff meant to brag about their products, which is, you know, all good and well. But let's get into the meat of this document, as well as Anthem's current projected performance, and so on. The section I want to draw your attention to first is where they state, We are updating our digital growth targets for the fiscal year to give you more visibility into the changes within our business. This is where Anthem is heavily credited for their net bookings from full game downloads, which are expected to increase by 20 to 25 percent, which is, quote, primarily driven by the strength we're seeing in Anthem. If you have no idea what net bookings are, don't worry. They are essentially the net numbers of products, such as games, sold digitally or sold physically during the period. There are other things included in net booking, but that's the long and short of it. The article goes on to state that the fourth quarter will be stronger than we had originally forecasted, driven by higher expectations for Anthem. Translated, Anthem's forecast is looking pretty good. But it is in the full earnings transcript where we find out why it's projected to do better than expected. It's in this excellent question that comes from Brandon A. Ross, BTIG, LLC, Research Division, Associate Analyst, who asks, quote, First on Anthem, can you talk a little bit about what you're seeing there that makes you raise your outlook for Anthem in your guidance. Blake J. Jorgensen, EA's COO and CFO, answers that question. Quote, Anthem, it's a brand new IP, and so that when we originally forecasted it, we forecasted it at a pretty low level, as we thought about without a lot of information, right? That was last May or April when we put that forecast together. As we've gotten deeper into the final parts of the game and we've, and had it tested with a lot of people, clearly the excitement is building. It started building at E3, as people just learned about what the game was and saw it. And so Typically, when you're forecasting a brand new IP, you usually start lower and then build that forecast over time, and that's essentially what we've done. We're getting excited both internally and externally about the game. As Andrew mentioned, it's very different than anything Bioware has built in the past. It looks stunning and it plays extremely well, and that's what's given us more confidence around the forecast. Essentially, all this means is Anthem is projected to do better than it was initially forecasted to do. Typically, in the business world, you set your expectations not necessarily low, but reasonably manage your expectations with a new product or new intellectual property. However, by every bit of accounting we have so far, the game is slated to do pretty well, especially if it's exceeding their forecast even before it releases. Mr. Jorgensen later adds, and we've got a forecast for subscriptions, but we're guessing a little bit as to the uptake of Premiere based on the fact that we haven't yet seen the real true PC-based titles like Battlefield and Anthem. Basic translation, EA Premiere is expected to go up even more when Battlefield and Anthem launch next month and in 2019, respectively. After all the negativity and general mess I've been seeing in the live stream's comment section on the channel, this was a much needed pick-me-up. Anthem is already performing much better than expected, and odds are, it will only get better as, hopefully, the marketing campaign starts to pick up and we get to see more and more completed gameplay like we will tomorrow. Obviously, I have high expectations for Anthem, and this report only increases them even more. But 
what do you all think about this fiscal report? What do you all think about the reports in general? Anything that you are raising your eyebrows at or don't understand? Let me know in the comments section below and I will do my best to explain it. Keep in mind, I'm a few years out of my element, so it might be a rough translation. Thank you again to Yukumio for bringing these documents to our attention. It is much appreciated, my friend. And thank you all as ever for watching, and if you like what we are doing here, consider liking and subscribing for more Anthem content. It means the world to me and helps me reach more freelancers just like you. And as always, a special thanks to my patrons for their loyalty and generous support. I hope all of you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video very soon. Peace out, everyone.